Kira Belly from Norway here. I'm going to answer some questions from Famous Birthday. So let's just get started. Do you have any hidden talents? Yes, <laughs> I have a hidden talent. When I was younger, I was in a metal band and I did all the screaming, so I can do that. Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? No, I could never ever quit social media. I love making movies. I love the creative part of it, figuring out stuff. And I love, love my belly fam. So I could never ever quit social media. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I kind of already do this one because I have this weird habit when it comes to food where I eat the same thing every day until I'm sick and tired of it and then I change the thing. So right now my craving, it's kind of weird, but it's avocado, shrimp and uh, egg. What's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time is Nightmare Before Christmas. I really love that movie and I love the songs. And I also like Star Wars Episode 3. That was a movie that made me cry. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't think I liked Star Wars. But my boyfriend asked me to see all of them and I was like, yeah, sure, we can do it for you. But I really loved it, and especially episode three because it made me cry. And I think a movie is good if it makes you feel something and that definitely made me feel something. So yeah, those are the two favorite movies I have. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Well, I lived in Spain and my school, I was in, I was 10 years, I think. And we had this show uh, from the Norwegian school where we did this fairy tale, Norwegian fairy tales, and showed them to the Spanish. But uh, I don't think they understood what we said, but they watched it anyway. But at the show, I was a rabbit. I had one of the leading roles, and I had these ears, paper ears, and one of them fell down. Uh, it didn't like fall off, but just fell down. And the guy I was acting against, he was just stopping what he did and uh, doing. And then he just po pointed at me and started laughing and said that it fell down. And the whole audience started laughing. And I felt everyone was laughing at me. So I was so embarrassed, cried and ran off stage. And I, I remember that as being so embarrassing. And I was like hiding for everyone. And yeah, it was not a good moment. But now looking back to it or looking back on it, um, I don't think they really understood what was happening. I think they just found the whole thing really hilarious. But yeah, I felt like everyone was just laughing at me. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is the whistling. I can't do it myself, but I hate, 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 hate <laughs> when people are whistling. So um, when me and my boyfriend are driving, he are usually whistling sometimes when it's a song coming on or something like that. And I always have to like, no, no whistling. So poor thing, he's really good at whistling, but he's not allowed to do it around me. <laughs> what would be the one superpower you would choose to have? The one superpower I want to have is to be like, boom, and then I'm in another place. Maybe is it time travel or? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not time travel. Maybe that as well. But maybe like Doctor Strange, you know, you can just open a portal and then you can just go like that. Because me and my boyfriend have a long distance relationship. That would be like perfect to be able to be at work here in the south of Norway and then boom, be in the north of Norway with him <laughs> after. So yeah, that would be really nice. What's your favorite movie you ever posted? The favorite movie. I ever posted was I did the trend, the emoji makeup trend, where you take an emoji and then you turn it into a makeup look. And I used five days on that video. <laughs> five days makeup and all the transition. And I really worked so hard on that video. So um, that's my favorite one because it turned out really good. And I feel, or I think I nailed the transitions as well. So I'm really, really happy with it. When did you first go viral? That was actually one of my first videos. It was a stupid video though. Uh, it was the one, you know, when you take an egg, the cola and cream, and then it, wow, turned into a squishy egg after 24 hours, but it's fake. If you didn't know, it's fake. But yeah, that was the first one that made viral. That, the first video I did them went viral. 
I didn't expect that, so I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun, it was really fun, but it was at the same time I felt really bad because it was kind of a fake video and I didn't say that it was fake. But all the comment sections were like, this is fake, this is fake, so I thought, okay, that's good. So I will never ever do that again. So all my videos, I like to do kind of weird stuff like that, but I will never say that it's real. I will say in the end what I used or say just kidding or, you know, so people know that it's not true. So yeah, I'll never do that again. Who were the first creator you followed on social media? That was Tati Westbrook. I really love her channel on YouTube. I think she's awesome and she's so like down to earth. And she's just, I don't know. I want to be like her when I grow up. And um, I really like her and James when they are opening her PR packages. I really love that. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what would you see yourself doing? I definitely see social media as a long-term uh, career path. I really do that, but I also do different things. I like to combine because I'm a professional dancer and I have a bachelor degree in that. Uh, as well as teaching so I do I'm a dancer dance teacher choreographer I also do acting a lot of act I'm an actress yeah with the theater world kind of thing and also with social media so I really like doing all of those kind of things uh, what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is no doubt Halloween because I love dressing up. That's my favorite thing. I also like Christmas though, but Halloween is like the whole. And uh, I live in Norway and sadly we don't have, uh, we don't do much of it. We, of course, we go trick or treating and that's basically that. Maybe have a Halloween party. But I lived in New York and then I got to experience the full Halloween thing with the whole month of Halloween and the parade. And I also got to be in a float, which I later found out was a really big thing. I didn't know, but uh, that was really fun. So I feel like I got the whole experience. I really wish Norway also had a parade and that we did the whole month and everybody was like decorating the house. And yeah, so yeah, Halloween is my favorite. and. When I have my own house, I will definitely make that a really big thing. But yeah, that was all. Love you all. Mwah.